le prix du jury est attribué à I.O. Diageus Kolimanski. I would like to thank my donkeys. All six of them. Taco. Hola. Marietta. Ettore. Rocco. And Mela. Thank you, my donkeys. Io! This film is obviously made out of love for nature and animals. There are hundreds of different breeds, but Sardinian donkeys are the most beautiful breed. The eyes of donkey is larger, much more expressive, especially with that melancholic look, you know, the accepting everything, but at the same time having this little dance. <laughs> The audience believe that animals don't act, they are just themselves. That it's real, that it's not performed. The emotion caused by the animal cuts your heart in half. You really feel that this is the truth. Marietta is the first scene. We found Marietta on Facebook. The donkey pretends to be dying. The owner is trying to resuscitate. And eventually it all ends with mouth to mouth. And the donkey gets up and shows that it's fine. Magical, comedic, magical, and, uh, hilarious. We got the scene. The American poster, this is Taco. Taco is the action hero. He's in all action shots. He's like Tom Cruise, you know, he's doing his all stunts. Taco was found by our animal handlers. They said, oh, listen, we have, you know, this the biggest star among donkeys in Poland. He's like a perfect looking donkey. The close shots are mostly Ola's. Ola was found to look just like him, you know. We basically looked for an animal that's gonna look the same but be female. No, I think it's about the feminine kind of roundness of her face, you know, and the lips. I mean, it's, you know, very seductive. They look exactly the same. You cannot say which one is which. Except you can. We can. <laughs> we can tell, but nobody else can tell. Rocco and Mela. They were lovely, beautiful. They had the least amount of training, I guess. They were pretty wild donkeys, yes. This was in this kind of paradise in the garden of the Countess of Isabel Iper. There is one beautiful shot in which the face of Mela, when it sort of merges into the tree. And we did it with the mug of a donkey and some leaves. It was like a slow dissolve from one to the other. And also Mela is the one who runs out from the palace towards the gate and stops. Very beautifully, majestically stops. And Rocco is the guy who sort of mounts on the grass when the two guys carry out a clock and starts braying. There is a donkey eating there and then slowly moving away. So that's Rocco. And Ettore. <coughs> The sweetest. Sweet, sweet. He was very small. And he's only in this flashback when the donkey is sick. He's lying there. We suspect that he's dying. And like a flash of the memory, we see the gentle hand of Cassandra touching his body. And he touched our hearts completely. Although it was played by several different animals, out of all the characters in my other films, the donkey is far my favorite one. I simply love that animal. <laughs>